Good morning. Uh, my name is Angel. I'm the CEO of FreedCamp. Uh, so please feel free to ask me anything. Uh, and my email uh, is angel at freedcamp.com and I'll be more than willing to answer any questions you may have. Uh, while we let people kind of come into the webinar, i just uh, share a little comic I found yesterday with you. I'll give you guys a second. looks like it's getting nicely filled um, just a reminder to raise your hand you need to click on this icon uh, so when I ask please you raise your hands uh, but let's move on to the interesting stuff so uh, first I want to start by talking about our marketplace and not because we make money through the marketplace but because of all the cool applications that exist in the marketplace that I think everyone can benefit from, uh, including the free, mainly the free ones actually. So my favorite application in FreedCamp is the password manager. And the reason is I've worked in multiple companies where we're constantly struggling to like say, hey, who has the account for this? And can you give me the password for that? And you're constantly walking around and it's, it's a nightmare. So we created the password manager for ourselves and we, you know, we love it. We were able to share accounts, we we're able to use uh, things successfully and you know, it's it's a great tool and it's fully encrypted. I mean, it's you know we trust our passwords with it, so it's it's as encrypted as it can be. Nobody can ever recover the password unless they know um, all your information. Uh, so even we're even we are not really able to get to your password. So it's it's really 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 secure. Um, some some other I'm just gonna go through the rest of the applications and kind of summarize what they're used for and why I think you find them useful. Uh, the CRM is used to manage your contacts. So as a freelancer, I typically have, you know, I talk to, to, to clients all the time and I will add them to my CRM as a lead and then I'll follow, you know, I'll get a reminder to follow up with them. I'll make sure that they become a, um, a real customer. And the cool thing for the CRM is, you know, you can log your calls, make tasks, etc. but it also integrates with your invoices plus. So with the invoices plus, you can build that client. So from the part of acquiring the client to actually billing them, it could all be done in one place. The book tracker uh, is, is one of my favorite applications as well as my second favorite. We use it all over the place. Like you might not even realize it, but in our own marketplace, when you're viewing an application, you notice that there's, um, there's a report bug suggest a feature. When you click on it, it opens up our own book tracking module, which you know you can put into any page um, but it's really nice. We get reports all the time when people have suggestions or, or are they reporting an issue? Uh, so we, you know, we eat our own dog food and it's, it's, a, it's a great little application to manage things and, you know, it allows you to email the clients directly from, or the people who reported the issue directly from the app. And it's, it's, it's really nice. Uh, invoices plus I use all the time we bill, you know, we are no longer doing freelance work, but while we're starting free camp and we're still doing freelance, we're really able to uh, build clients and so forth. And this has really matured into a, a great application. You can import from FreshBooks. So if you're currently using FreshBooks, it's a really easy import. Um, our wikis, we use internally to document our code, to, doc to make documentation tutorials. Uh, we also use it, it you notice, um, in the help page, uh, which I'll talk about later, but to create public wikis to share it with the world. Um, so it's great for advanced documents, versioning, you know, you see versions that were done for the wiki, comparison between versions and so forth. Uh, task keys for managing your own personal tasks. So you own the you know, user applications are just for yourself. Uh, and calendar, which is a great way to manage your projects from one place to see when things are coming up uh, and quickly create tasks for those days. Um, there's more information on the marketplace as well here, so please feel free to click on that button to get more information about the marketplace. Next, uh, let's talk about the dashboard. Uh, what I call it is the window into your workplace ecosystem. And why is that? Um, the best way I can sh explain it is by showing you my dashboard. So I love the dashboard because as soon as I come in, I know what's happening. I know that there's something coming up on the 21st of uh, the month and I can quickly see, okay, well, what is actually coming up? So we have our sprint that's due then, and there's a to-do that needs to be done as well by that date. So 
it's really nice really quickly see when things are coming up um, as you saw when I visited this page there's the black notifications that tell you their instant notification telling you something's happened well a lot of times I might miss those black notifications so I go back to my dashboard and I quickly see well what are the last five or ten things that have happened so it's a really nice way to get a quick view of what has happened recently uh, you can also see that I have my to do's and all my colleagues to do's uh, which is great because I'm able to quickly see what everyone's working on uh, again at a really quick glance now not everyone's a manager like me so you might not care what other people are doing um, but in that case you could just do your own tasks for task key and then milestones and whatever you know you're interested in I urge you to check out our create widget and to maybe create a widget for each one of these at least at first and customize it and then choose see what you like and, and make it really custom to yourself I've seen dashboards to do pretty cool stuff so the possibilities are are pretty limitless uh, next let's talk about the wall and the wall is very exciting uh, it's a really great way to socially interact with uh, people in your company so as you see here uh, I've posted a little conversation to see who wants to to go um, to have lunch so here's a few things you might not know about the wall first of all you can choose who can actually see it so you can make it very private however without doing anything you still can feel safe by posting because only people that are in projects with you will see the item this comes in really handy when you invite freelancers on specific projects and clients on other projects and you don't want them to see each other's wall posts. Um, for example, if, if one of your freelancers posts on the wall, hey, when am I getting paid? The client is not going to see it as long as they're not in the same project together. So this is very, very useful. Separating people into different projects and then them not seeing um, the messages they post. Uh, I also like to see it to know when last people that I work with have been online. Um, and um, if, if you specifically want somebody to notice uh, that you're posting, you can actually uh, use the app notation. So you can say, hey, Igor, would you like to come to lunch with me? So he will get an email. Anyways, he will get an email with my notification. Um, if he has this page open, this will instantly appear and he will be able to instantly respond to me. So like this is, this is like chat, like the, the messages come up instantly here. I will see it and I can respond and then um, he will instantly as well see it. So it's, it's like a chat system. So you can have these short conversations uh, that is so much better than having a full discussion. Sometimes you don't need a whole discussion to discuss a small point. So you can discuss an idea here, like here, like Igor's asking, hey, why don't we allow attachments in the wikis? And then I said, oh, like we can actually add it. It's only going to take a couple of minutes. Um, so this is a short conversation. We don't need a whole discussion. We don't need it to do for it yet. We don't know what's happening. Just a preliminary conversation. So uh, very, very important the, to know that the wall, if you keep it open, it's all completely instant communication with your team. So it's a nice little chat system. So that's that's pretty much about it about the wall. Um, next, we have order projects. It's another feature that we get a lot of support questions about. People say, you know, I don't like the order that my projects are in. Um, but if you scroll down to the bottom, it says where it says reorder projects, you can actually choose um the order you want to see your projects in so so for me for example i got my free camp i have some freelance whatever i'm dealing with i can put it in my own uh order and that helps me much much quickly much more quickly to to browse through these uh through these projects so if you, if you haven't used it please do check it out um, so personal management with FreeCamp, we really wanted this to be the only tool you use to really through your whole workday. Um, so what we realized is that besides the projects you do with your colleagues and, and you know your boss or whoever, you kind of need to keep your own tasks. Or even if they were not necessarily related to work, they may be related to your homework. Um, 
it was nice to have a way to really personally manage your own stuff. So we've noticed two things. One, we created a task application, which is just for you. It's just personal tasks. Uh, I have myself little reminders to follow up with people or whatever, just really short reminders that I can uh, quickly scan through. And a lot of people actually create their own personal project, which kind of makes sense as well, because with your own personal project, you can create to do's discussions, like much more advanced management of your own uh, tasks. So, so very, very cool. A lot of people seem to, uh, to do this. So I do suggest to try one of these routes to manage your own, um, your own uh, personal projects. Uh, next topic. Um, so, so management and, and managing your, um, your projects, managing your users, uh, the top requested feature right now is creating administrators, group administrators who can create projects. So this has been requested a lot. We are going to launch this in the next two weeks. So we will allow the possibility for you to assign somebody as a group administrator, and they'll be able to create projects, install applications, basically do everything without you being, uh, necessarily involved. Um, but let's look at some other, a couple little tricks that I like to, uh, that I don't think many people also know about uh, when managing projects and users. Um, so one thing that we get uh, people asking pretty, pretty, pretty regularly is, well, how do I know, you know, if people have, you know, accepted my invite or, or who's, who's invited. Um, so here you see who's accepted to the project, but you can also click manage invitations and you actually see a little um, summary of, if people are pending or even if they've declined. So you, you, from this screen, you know exactly what the status of these people, people is. So a lot of people don't know this, but when you come into managing a project's users, uh, you can manage the invitations. Another thing that people are slightly confused about is our roles. Um, so something interesting about the roles is that you can create as many as you want. So you can have, you know, your team one engineers, team two engineers, you can have your marketing department. You can really make this as custom as you want. Um, and, and the cool thing there is that you can choose uh, which applications this group has access to. So if you want to keep your clients only seeing the to do's, we actually just just create one for you. But every time you create a new project, we just create the client uh, role for you. Um, but it's a great way to just keep your clients only seeing your to do's or um, you know, seeing, seeing that kind of stuff, it, it really, really helps creating custom, uh, custom roles when the team gets larger and you need a better way of, of organizing. And there's a lot more we're going to be doing with roles in the coming future where we'll allow, um, you know, you to actually assign things to a whole role rather than just one person. So definitely very, very important to keep the using those roles. Uh, and, and I guess the last thing I have is a lot of people don't realize that when this gets overwhelmingly large, like mine is, uh, you can start deactivating projects. So for example, we're no longer doing this one. I'm going to just deactivate it right now. And, uh, voila, my list is just a little bit smaller. Uh, I do manage a lot. <laughs> um, okay. So let's move to the next thing. And that's really using our time tracking with our invoices. Um, something I don't know if, if, if many people also are aware of. So managing time. So I'm going to go to a, to a project and I don't think we've tracked any time for this project. Eh, actually, I guess we have. Um, so the way we, we do it is we basically come into the time application and we have our people that work with us come to the time application and they, they basically specify, okay, I just worked two hours on designing the front page. Uh, and I don't need to type it correctly, but the goal here is that then I can go to my invoice application invoices plus from the marketplace um, create an invoice or an estimate. This is going to be, uh, and again, a reminder, the, this integrates with the CRM. So the client list here is completely integrated with my, um, with my CRM and you don't need the CRM to use the client list. You can add clients here, which is going to stay in the invoices, but they also can be unified. Um, so you notice here that designing the front page appears. Uh, so it's a really nice integration where you can just add this and then build a client for your time. Um, so these kind of little integrations is where I think FreeCamp really changes the game from any of our competitors, this full integration between our applications, um, letting you do 
a decent amount more. Um, oh, and another note on Invoices Plus, by the way, is Invoices Plus allows you to have a custom logo. Uh, so it's it's non-branded uh, emails sent out. Uh, we allow you to take PayPal payments and it's, it's a, it's a really cool app. We, we, we use it a lot of work. Um, and we, we have a lot of people really liking the invoices plus application. So if you do build clients, I highly suggest trying it out. Uh, and I'm not going to talk too much more about the CRM to invoices plus, but again, you can create contacts in the CRM, build them in the invoicing plus really nice integration, saving you time. Um, so let's talk about the calendar. Uh, there's already a question, somebody asking, how can I connect the Google Calendar with FreeCamp? So I'm going to show you. Uh, this is my calendar. But so let's see. I already have this open somewhere. Okay, so this is my calendar. I've already actually synced it uh, with Google, but this is where you would do it. Here, when you go to this page, it says sync with Google Calendar. And it allows you to basically start synchronizing all your tasks with uh, Google Calendar. So where this, where my favorite part about this is that it then directly integrates with my home calendar, uh, which which I use the, the Mac application, but also on my iPhone, I'm able to see my to-dos. And so it really creates this cohesion between your mobile device to whatever calendar application like Google Calendar you're using uh, to your desktop application. You're able to kind of really manage your your calendar <clears throat> from from one place. Another some other cool features about the calendar, uh, you really can use it to really quickly create. So if you you know you if you're planning like okay we need to have X feature done by the 13th, uh, you click here. You're able to basically select whether it's to do or milestone. Uh, if it's to do, it allows you to choose the group. So it's you know it's really the full thing. Uh, create the title, the description, etc and then create it really, really quickly from one place. So, so a lot of our, the people that we, we interact with that use FreedCamp, they like this way of project management with, with a calendar in front of them and being able to create to-dos, assign them milestones for, for larger goals, um, like, like you see here. So I highly suggest integrating the, the, Google, the, the calendar with Google Calendar uh, as it really helps uh, do things easier. Um, some settings, so the next, uh, you can get Chrome notifications. If you are using Chrome, you can go into the settings and turn on Chrome notifications. Uh, it can be really useful while you're doing something else to get little snippets of saying, Hey, somebody did something. So you can go check out your activity, see what's happened. Um, one, one feature I like is if you didn't know this already, you can, if you just signed up for free camp. To, like like a typical user would, but you didn't use like the social icons to log in, you can come into your settings. So I went to in my account and click to connect, and then you can connect with any one of these services. Once it's connected in here, when you log out and you click on the icon for Facebook or Twitter, whichever one you authenticated with, it's, it's like a one second login process. So it really speeds up that login, um, login time by just clicking a, clicking an icon. So I suggest authenticate your accounts. Um, uh, wikis, if anyone uses uh, the wiki application, again, I highly suggest it. Uh, what you may not realize is that in our own help section, there's links to um, helpful articles. And these actually link to our public wiki uh pages so these can be shared with anyone in the world even though you created in free camp in your project you can check a box and say make this public and then they will give you this url which you can share again with anyone create documentation create tutorials help whatever it is you want to share uh and we host it for you so so it's it can be, it can be very helpful creating public uh, public wikis so i highly suggest to check that feature out as well And finally, I just wanted to end with kind of explain, like say, a lot of people say, hey, I need to do this or this with FreeCamp. And then I talk on the, with them on the phone or whatever. And they're kind of saying, oh, I don't know how to do you know this. The FreeCamp doesn't support it. Well, the reality of it is, is there's so much you can do um, to just customize the system to, to do what you want it to do. So I'm going to give you an example. We are starting to, we've started to use agile development and you know, we don't have a way for you to track, for example, the difficulty of an item or 
the priority for it, etc. So what we did is we started our own little syntax here. As you can see, square brackets annotate the priority. So how important is this to us from 1 to 10? So this is very important. Um, and then how difficult is it going to be to achieve it? So 1, 2, five, 3, 5, 8, 10, whatever. Um, putting a difficulty on it so that we know. So as a developer, when you're working, you can say, okay, I just need to do something quick. So you find a less um, with a smaller difficulty item so that you can complete it faster. Uh, and also just so they know what they should work on next with the priority. So customizing the system to work for your needs um, and, and email us, email us and say, hey, like, you know, I'm trying to do this and then we'll probably be able to accommodate it as well. Uh, just send us an email at help at freecamp.com. Um, so let me just, that's, that's pretty much what I have as far as planned. Um, take a second to thank our mascot, Roscoe is here next to me eating food. Um, and then I'm going to just go through the questions that uh, you guys had. Um, somebody asked, is there a way to copy times from uh, time to invoices? So I actually went over that already. Uh, if you have the invoices plus, you can uh, use invoices and time together. Um, Google Calendar have answered. OK. If Google Calendar is not working for you, we did make a small change recently. Send an email at help at Freedcamp and tell us your Google Calendar is not working. We will reset your thing and you just be able to re-authenticate and everything will work as if as it always has. There was an API change in Google. So please send us an email, help at freedcamp.com. We will fix your um, Google Calendar if it's not working. Um, is it possible to copy and paste to do's from one project to another? Somebody said, is it possible to copy and paste to do's from one project to another? No, we don't have this functionality. Um, the only thing you can do is create a template, a, a project template. Um, yeah, so so they're, they're saying that they have the same thing they have to do with different clients, but they don't want to do it every time. So at that point, I would suggest to create a template, create that to do in that template. And every time you create the project, um, just, just use that template. Uh, is there going to be Windows 8 applications soon? We are not planning on releasing a Windows application at all. We're launching mobile support in the next two weeks as well. So when you go with your phone, it's fully responsive. So it's going to work really nicely on your phone. We are not planning on making native applications ourselves. We are planning on launching the API, which will allow others to build these applications on Windows or any other platform. Um, next question. Have you considered uh, converting to-do groups to milestones? No, not converting, but linking to-dos to milestones is on our very, very top priority right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's not as simple as just doing it. There's a lot of planning that, that we're trying to do to figure out what's the best way for our for, for our users to, to enjoy this um, communication between to-dos and milestones. We have a, a few ideas on the table. Uh, and if you have an idea of how you think it should work, send us an email. We love getting your emails uh, and, and we respond to pretty much all of them. So send us an email uh, about how you think milestones and to do should integrate. And then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll consider it. Um, somebody asked, can you remove a user completely from all projects at one time? Unfortunately, no. Uh, each instance is separate. You'd have to go through most of your projects. Um, if you feel like this is a use case that others might experience, um, you know, if, if, you, if you send us an email and you say, I have 100 projects, I need to remove this one user, then again, we'll consider it. We'll figure out how you can do it or, or if there should be a better way to do that. Um, somebody suggested the API. We know how we've, we've done the API. We had it ready. Unfortunately, there's a lot that goes into it. So we don't want to launch it and then have to run, launch version two like Twitter did. We're trying to make the API right from the first time. So, you know, security wise as well for us is very important. So we're working a lot on making sure that the API is right before we launch it. There's, uh, if there's going to be a recording, I actually started the recording a little bit into it, but yes, I will post what we have uh, to all the people that attended and that, that requested it. Um, can you change username? One second. Can you change? Um, yes. So next question, uh, you cannot change usernames. No, somebody's asking if you can change usernames. You cannot change usernames. However, again, we are going to launch a feature where you can have your administrator, 
uh, create multiple administrators for a group who can manage it. Um, something that my, my co-founder just reminded me is that uh, you can go to uh, freedcamp.uservoice.com. So that's freedcamp.uservoice.com and also suggest features and other users also vote on these features. And then we really know that that's a feature we need to implement. So, and there's already a bunch of the features you guys are asking for. So if you can go there and vote, that really helps us know what we should build. Um, somebody asked if we're considering integration between uh, time and to-dos. Absolutely. So right now, from the votes, again, that I said from the user voice, we we know that more people are interested in the to-dos and milestones. However, the second thing to us is, is time and to-do. Uh, and, and that's very important to us as a team because we use it that way. So we need it as well. Um, so definitely a better integration between time and to-dos is on the horizon. Absolutely. Uh, somebody asked if in the future we, you'll be able to customize the daily update emails. Uh, uh, we don't have that planned right now. Uh, they were asking if you can just not show things that were deleted. We actually just added a little better support for deletion because we as a team were kind of concerned that we would not know why something just doesn't appear anymore. Um, so we like seeing the deleted, but I can see the point. So please go to user voice um and and vote to have customizable um daily update emails to only see the things you care about so that's again definitely something uh, we would like to consider okay well that's about it we don't have any other unanswered questions thank you so much for attending and uh there'll be more webinars so hopefully if you guys give us ideas on what you want to hear about next uh send us an email and we will try to accommodate uh, everything we can. So again, appreciate it and have a great day.